Welcome again, guys, to Bright Brain City Grass, where problems of mathematics are resolved. Today, we are looking at a wonderful challenge, which you can see from the board above, which is 3 to the power of x plus 2 plus 3 to the power of x plus 5 equals 28. And the question has says x is equal to what? So we are looking for the value of x in this nice exponential challenge. So if you are new to this channel, you can kindly do it by clicking on the subscription button and the notification bell so that you will get notified anytime I release videos on mathematics because in this channel, I solve problems on math such as calculus, algebra, and Olympiad mathematics. And so let's see how we can solve this wonderful exponential challenge. So let's dive in. So we can simply say solution. Then write down our question, which is our theory to the power of x plus 2 plus 3 to the power of x plus 5 equal 28. So we're having 28. So after then, we can rewrite the whole of this, this, to be 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of 2 plus 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of 5 equal 28. Because we are applying this principle, and this, this principle is, is actually from indices. Because indices says if we are having a, a value to the power of it, we can simply break that value into this, which says 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of 2. So if we pick this and this, is they are the same. If we pick this and this together, at the power number, we are going to add up them. So we are going to have 3 as the as base number to the power of x plus 2. So this what I did here is exactly from the principle of indices. So, having done this, we can see that we can still break this one down. So, we're going to have 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of 2 plus 3 to the power of x times. We want to break 3 to the power of 5. So, we can break 3 to the power of 5 to be 3 to the power of 3 times 3 to the power of 4, 2 equal 28. Right? Because when we say 3 to the power of theory times 3 to the power of 2 is still the same as 3 to the power of 5 because if we still apply the same indices, picking this as 1, then 3 plus 2 is going to give us what? 5. So we are going to have 3 to the power of 5. Then what then is the next step? We can simply rewrite this to be 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of 2 plus 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of 3 times 3 to the power of 2 equal 27 now. We can break 27 into two parts, which is 20, sorry, 28. We can break 28 into two parts, which is 27 plus 1. So we can say 27 plus 1, because 27 plus 1 is going to give us what? 28. So having done this, the word then is not the next step. You can see from the left hand side of this equation, we are having 3 to the power of 2 common at this point, and 3 to the power of 2 common at this point. So what are we simply going to do? We can what? Factor add 3 to the power of 2. Factoring add that, we can have 3 to the power of 2, open bracket, 3 to the power of x, right? Plus 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of, of 3, close bracket, is equals to 27 plus 1. Okay, then after that, what are we going to do? We can simply divide both sides by 3 to the power of 2. So doing that, we can say, uh, divide both sides by 3 to the power of 2. Divide both sides by 3 to the power of 2. So doing this, we can say this and this can cancel off. right? So we are left with uh, 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of 3 equal to, we can break this down so that each of the value can have their own uh, denominator. So we can say uh, 27 all over 3 to the power of 2 plus 1 all over 3 to the power of what? 2. Okay, moving upward. Okay, after doing this, so we are left with 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of 3 equal 27 all over 3 to the power of 3 plus 1 all over 3 to the power of 3 because we are making each of them to have this value to have their own denominator. I remember we said if we have 3 to the power of 2, 3 to the power of 2 is the same as 9. So we can simply write this to be 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x uh, times 3 to the power of 3 equal 27 all over 9 plus 1 all over what? 9. 
Okay, we can see that this and this can cancel out. So we can say 9 year 1, 9 into 27 is going to give me 3. So we are left with 3 to the power of x plus 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of 3 equal 3 plus 1 all over 9. Okay, we are going somewhere. After having this, so what are we going to do? We can simply factor out. So looking at this left hand side, we are having 3 to the power of x common. So we can simply factor out 3 to the power of x. Doing that, we can have 3 to the power of x open bracket 1 plus 3 to the power of 3 close the bracket equal 3 plus 1 all over 9. After doing that, we cannot see that 3 to the power of x open bracket 1 plus 3 to the power of 3 close bracket equal 3 plus 1 all over 9. We're writing this. 3 to the power of 3 is same as 27. And 27 plus 1 is going to give us 28. So we're going to have 3 to the power of x, open bracket, 28, close bracket, equal 3 plus 1 all over what? 9. Okay, we are now having this. So we are having 28, sorry, 3 to the power of x, open bracket, 28, equals 3 plus 1 all over 9. We can rewrite the all of these to be 28 all over 7. So doing that, we can cross multiply here by saying 3 to the power of x, open bracket, 28, close bracket, equal to 9 times 3 plus 1 all over 9. So we are still coming back to the first form. So we are going to have all of it to be 3 to the power of x, open bracket, 28, equal 27 plus 1 all over what? All over 9. Doing that, so what are we left with? We are left with 3 to the power of x, open bracket 28, close bracket, equal to 28 all over 9. We cannot see 28, 28 comma, so 28 can cancel like this. Okay, since we have 28 is not cancelling out 28 here, so our 3, so we are now left with 3 to the power of x equals to 1 all over 9 because 9 is acting as what the denominator okay see we want to make the denominator to become a numerator how can we do that by the time we are bringing the denominator to to become a numerator we are going to put a negative uh, value at the power so doing that to be 3 to the power of x is equals to 9 minus 1 so we can write 3 to the power of um, uh, 9 to be 3 to the power of 2 so doing that we can say 3 to the power of x equals 3 to the power of minus 2. And this and this can cancel out. So we are left with x equals to minus 2. So we are going to plug in the value for x, whether actually the value for x is actually correct. So let's see whether the value of x is correct by plugging the value of x into the previous question we have. Okay, since we've gotten the value for x as x equals to minus 2, so let's plug in the value for x to try whether the value of x is actually correct. So doing that, we can come here and write 3 in the place of x, so we're going to put minus 2. So we are having minus 2 plus 2 plus 3 to the power of minus 2 plus 5 equal 28. So we want to try whether it's actually correct. So you can see that this minus 2 plus 2 is going to give us 0, so we are left 3 to the power of 0 plus 3 minus 2 plus 5 is going to give us 3. 3 equal 28. So what I'm going to do, 3 to the power of 0 is 1. Because according to the principle of indices, anything, anything to the power of 0 is 1. So we are saying 3 to the power of 0 is 1. 1 plus, and 3 to, the, 3 to the power of 3 is same as 3 times 3 times 3. And 3 times 3 times 3 is going to give us 27. 27 equal 28. So 1 plus 27 is going to give us what? 28. So the value of x is extremely correct. So if you are new to this channel, you can click on the subscription button if you have not done that and hit up the notification bell. And if you are having any challenge in this calculation, you can drop that on the comment section below. Our figure is ready to reply off your comments. Jesus loves you and God bless you. Thank you.